Hey, what's up everybody? It's Richie here with an invention I like to call the mob door. And when I say mob door, I don't mean a door that looks like a mob or sounds like a mob or acts like a mob. No, I mean a door that is physically made of mobs. Now, since they've added collision physics in Minecraft, this door is actually a thing. You can't walk through it. It's a perfectly functional door. But it gets better than that, because if you're in survival mode, this door is more deadly and harder to get through than pretty much any other door you can find. And of course, it looks awesome too. This looks pretty cool with all the wither skeletons, and the way they go up and down just looks amazing. And this actually is easier to build than a standard piston door. But to make it work, you are gonna have to capture around 10 wither skeletons, which is gonna make it pretty tricky. And if you're in creative mode and wanna spawn them in, I will direct you to this book right here by Exuma. It's a one command thing that gives you spawn eggs for things that don't typically have spawn eggs like wither skeletons and crazy stuff like giant slimes. Now there are direct commands to get things like wither skeletons in your world, but none of them are really as simple as this. So once again, this will be in the description, very useful tool. And without further ado, let's crack on with the tutorial. So to build this thing, you're gonna need seven redstone, four sticky pistons, three blocks of glass or any other transparent block, three slime blocks, a redstone repeater, a redstone torch, a button, some way to get some wither skeletons in there, and a bunch of blocks to build this. All right, now to start this off, we're gonna put three slime blocks on our floor level, just like this. Now three is just a number I picked. You can make this build as long or as short as you want but I just find that three works best, especially with the way the wither skeletons group. Now underneath it, you're gonna put a sticky piston facing up into these three slime blocks right here, a block right here with a repeater set to four ticks, and another block right here with a redstone torch on top of it, and that is gonna be our input. And from there, we wanna go to our slime blocks, go up three just like this, and create some sort of an enclosure so the wither skeletons don't escape from our little door. So there we go, we can punch these blocks out right here, and now we have an enclosure two blocks higher than our floor. Then we're gonna go over to our torch and place a block on top of that, and then come up to here, place another block right here, and three blocks just like this. Now underneath these blocks, you're gonna place three sticky pistons right like this, with glass on their edges like that, and you can coat this entire line right here in redstone. And now your build is just about done. The last thing we have to do is go up two from these glass blocks right here and make another containment ring right around here. And from there, go up another three blocks and just create a line that caps off your entire build. And with that, you should be done. Place some wither skeletons in there. If you're doing this in survival, oh, you're gonna have a fun time with this, but you are gonna want around 10. And once you've got those, you can stand right here press this button, and everything should work perfectly. You press the button once, and they all go into place. You press the button again, and they're all stored back. And you have yourself a pretty cool door. And one more thing, make sure you name tag those wither skeletons, or else they're gonna despawn. But anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. I certainly had a good time making it, and I am sorry that I've been doing a ton of doors recently, but I'm having a lot of fun with them, and the next redstone tutorial will be something different. And if you did like this video, then please hit that like button, and of course hit subscribe if you haven't already. But this has been Richie, I hope you liked this video, and I will see you next time.